Man, the M16 is cool. I just really wish they made one with an adjustable stock. All right, they did it. Look at that, two, pos two positions. Okay. Oh, they did it. Now it's like six positions. This is perfection. Let's talk B5 systems. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms, here to talk about our next manufacturer review. And well, since we're giving away the Danny Defense Mark 12 with the B5 system stock on it, why not talk a little bit about B5 systems? Founded in 2008, they do more than just, well, stocks <laughs> and grips and other types of AR accessories like trigger guards. They're also in the aerospace technology and a general contractor. They've worked with Sig Sauer, they've worked with Lockheed, uh, Boeing, and all sorts of other different types of aerospace technologies, which I think is pretty cool because I think that's also something too we kind of miss is we see a lot of what focuses on what we see every day, right? We see a lot of their stocks and grips, of course, of which I am a huge fan, uh, but we don't actually see a lot of what they do when it comes down to general contracting for DOD and other types of agencies. So pretty cool stuff if you ask me. Now, with that being said, what you've got here is my Mark 12 that I absolutely love. It's a great shooting rifle. The 18 inch rifle length gas system and everything or the 18 inch barrel with the rifle length gas system just makes it a very soft shooter. You couple that with this grip and this stock and you've got a very comfortable and practical stock as well, or setup I should say. So first of all, uh, you'll notice I do have my Tech 10 sling on this guy. Uh, this is an awesome little sling setup. It does have that loosen and tighten to you as needed, which makes it easy to go from strong arm to weak arm or whatever it is if you need to do those types of transitions. And it makes it even easier uh, when you have the swinger mount. And we've had Paul on the channel uh, with Tech 10 and he explained these quite a bit and these are awesome by the way. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. Uh, but also too, a few of you guys have always wondered or asked, especially with the Mark 18 and stuff or any other, pretty much any other time you see me running one of these stocks, not even the stock, but just different guns in general, uh, the Ranger band or a rubber band or some sort of elastic band uh, on my stock. And that is just so I can tuck my sling away whenever I'm not using it. And there, therefore it's just not such a hangy floppy mess like it is right now. But that's all that is for. Now what's cool about to the Tech 10 products is for the B5 system stock is you have this little insert and they also make it for the LMT stocks, which these are the original LMT soft mod stocks are super expensive, uh, but they did leave this little gap, which is a great filler for the QD host that is just knocks in there that has a little pin that keeps it in place, which is pretty cool. But like I said, the stocks themselves are super comfortable. First of all, they just have a great look to them. They've got that iconic special operations look to it. The, again, the SOP mod. And I've always been a big fan of the look and also the cheek weld you get on this guy. You'll notice just how thick <laughs> it is here and it makes for whenever you get down on the gun, and I'll just go ahead and do that really quick and show you, it makes for whenever you get down on the gun very comfortable. You get a nice, first of all, rubber butt pad back here that has got a good grip texture to it and it's solid, but it's a 5.56 gun, so it's not like you really have to worry about recoil too much anyway. And so whenever you have that on your clothing, maybe you have different types of gear on or whatever else, whenever you shoot this guy, and let's say you're sending a lot of rounds downrange quickly, uh, you don't have to really worry about it going anywhere. And this is me just, boom. Now you do that with like some plastic stocks, or whatever else, they'll start to just kind of do that number, right? Even then it was gripping my hoodie. So it's got a very nice, comfortable, uh, pad to it, very comfortable cheek weld. And if you don't like the little battery compartments, which you can get to, but in order to do so, you just remove the stock, which is actually really easy to do when you remove the Ranger band out of the way. But anyway, pull down on that guy, stock comes right out. And now you're able to get in there, twist these guys off and take these out. Boom. There's your entire compartment and everything that you pretty much need, which I think is pretty nifty. So if you wanted to stuff batteries, Skittles, or whatever else in there, you can. <laughs> Those are uh, important things, by the way, so don't forget that. And then you just take it and put it 
back into its locked position. So it's still very easy to get to, which is nice. There you go, put that guy back on there. And then once you're done getting your batteries out or again, your Skittles, let's flip that back on there and you're ready to rock and roll. So the stocks are nice. And if you don't really care for the compartments, they also make the Bravo model, which is right boop, here on the LWRC. So you still get a nice wide cheek weld on this guy here, um, but you just don't get the compartments. That's all there is to it. But it still is a much more slim design ultimately if you were to compare the two uh, side by side. There you go, there is the comparison. And just to let you guys know too, this does not have that gap right here at the front of the stock. So there's no way to add, as of right now at least, that Tech 10 QD insert, okay? But it is still a very easy to adjust stock takes off and removes the exact same way just pull down that guy and it'll come completely off does have your qd right through here and they also make a uh a like a military contract sop mod stock where it doesn't feature the qd because for whatever reason dod marines especially uh don't like i should say the marine corps official don't like qd but marines love it all right <laughs> but anyway Still a solid stock. Now the only complaint I have about the Bravo is you have a little bit more surface area on the SOP mod stock. And on the Bravo, I notice right where I keep this thing out, especially on the LWRC, my length of pull on it is perfect. Except if I grow up my facial hair a little bit, that little right there, every now and then can kind of grab and you'll grab at your hair and it, and it hurts. But other than that, you know, wear a mask, I guess. But with all that being said, E5 Systems, great company, and I also am a big fan of their grips. Now the grip, what's cool about this guy is first of all, notice the grip angle. If you look at your standard, well, look at the FAL, right? That is not a comfortable <laughs> grip angle uh, for me at least. Granted, the FAL is a great rifle and everything, but I do prefer uh, DSA arms. They have a different grip, but more of like a 249 saw grip, which I am a much bigger fan of. And then you got like the Magpul here. This one has kind of that A2 grip uh, angle and you'll notice too, you can actually remove this piece. The standard A2, you can't really do that. And thank goodness they uh, made it like that. A1 grip on that guy. But anyway, you'll notice that this one being a little bit more steeper feels much more ergonomic and natural for me at least. So my wrist isn't as bent and it just feels very good and allows me to get down on the gun and shoot a little bit more comfortably. Excellent stippling, by the way. It's aggressive enough to where you won't lose grip if you're sweating, bleeding, whatever else, uh, but it's not so aggressive that if you're not shooting without gloves, uh, that, or if you are shooting without gloves, that it's not gonna be cutting you up after a long day of shooting. Other downside is uh, it doesn't have a compartment right in here, so you can't you know, put more like uh, Skittles or anything in there, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but at the same time, I honestly don't ever store anything in my, you know, Magpul grips, whatever, that have the little compartment. The most that I've stored in one of those is NFA paperwork, which is overrated anyway. But uh, yeah, so at the end of the day, B5 Systems, if you're just looking for great gear, uh, awesome, affordable gear too, I mean, you're talking less than like 30 bucks for some of these grips and depending on which stock model they're you know anywhere between 100 150 or less than that especially for the bravo too again it depends where you're looking always check classicfirearms.com by the way i uh, never know what type of awesome sales and uh well every now and then there's a discount code out there too make sure you are subscribed to our emails so that way you get those don't miss out uh but anyway so affordable products that make your AR look good and also make it function that much better as well. So check out B5 Systems and of course, head on over to classicfirearms.com to get your free uh, B5 Systems stock that's coming on the Mark 12 we're giving away, which is this guy right here. The Daniel Defense Mark 12 is, what I would like to say is Daniel Defense's take on the Mark 12, simply because the original Mark 12, um, didn't really look like this. <laughs> what Daniel Defense has done has made it ultimately, I wanna say a little bit more practical and affordable for all of us out there. It's still an expensive firearm, just the base gun is uh, you know north of $2,200. Uh, but with all that being said, we made it even mo better because we do on the Surefire Break, the Trijicon AccuPoint, two and a half to 12 and a half power optic uh, that is also 
illuminated, which is pretty cool. It has illuminated reticle and you can kind of turn that up or down depending on the ambient lighting that you have. So I think that's pretty awesome. It is also adjustable, obviously, two and a half to 12 and a half. The Trijicon RMR with the T-Rex arms, 45 degree offset. So if you're going magnified and then you need to engage something a little bit closer up, quick rotate, and now you've got a red dot and RMR at that. American Defense Manufacturing QD mount for the optic and also for the Harris bipod that we're including in the giveaway. And the B5 system stock. You're getting all that with the stock. I mean, what more could you possibly ask for? Also too, these guys do come standard with the Geisley two-stage trigger, so fantastic. We did team up with Alex Zedra on this giveaway, and we had a fun day at the range shooting the, the Firebird uh, exploding targets, Tannerite exploding targets. It's just it's just a good time. Anytime you get to shoot something that reacts, especially reacts with an, a boom, uh, it's that much better. Oh, and we got to shoot a bunch of machine guns. So go check that video out, and uh, yeah, comment you know on that video, comment on this video, guys. Uh, what do you think about B5 systems and what are some other guns you'd like to see shoot and blow up stuff or whatever else? And uh, also too, the code word for this giveaway is sausage. Um, <laughs> if you are questioning why sausage is the giveaway, just watch our video. Um, Ryan thought it would be thought it'd be funny and a good one. And I He's right. So we'll leave it off there. Guys, I'll see you down in the comment section all about B5 systems. What have your experiences been with B5? Have you tried out any of the Tech 10 products that team up or that integrate with the B5 stock at all? Let me know again down in the comment section. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.